Okay, now we're back again. It's Fire and Storm's turn. Back to the witch's house. I'm gonna use the Nanovator. Because I'm lazy. Okay, so we still have Gobblerton. Judge, that's, yeah, we just have Gobblerton. And then we're done. Faring. By now, Anola did show up to force that treacle plant to reopen, but Orson held firm. I wonder why she cares so much about that toxic gunk. Toxic. Of course. Nan is not interested in designer treats. She wants treacle as a weapon, the ultimate stink bomb for her army of cranberries. Her what? I will catch you up while the wizard talks to the weird sisters. What you just said makes perfect sense. The androids in Gobbler's Sweat work like Sour Patch Goat Dantroff, turning bland candy corn gummies sour. Even the trigger word fits! Nobody says sad in caramel. At least not until the happiness initiative overworked them. Then they complete. The dummies were activated. Rampage, rampage. And also Nana could make a secret army to destroy other candy companies. A tale as old as time. But what to do now? How to stop this? That is beyond science. Strategy is more Samantha's area. Go talk to her. my area it's piper's area and she says we obviously need to expose nana and end the happiness initiative who is prudence my familiar is piper but first she says we need to counteract the gobbler anti joys sweet in nana's army and make it harmless <laughs> Rosina's a gobbler expert. I sent some gobblers her way earlier, but you know she cannot stand the forest and her house moves. How do we find it? Yes, Piper, I know they can follow the breadcrumb trail, but it is invisible. Oh, they would need superior senses or a pet to find it. Fizzer, you can help with that, yeah? Let your pet lead the way to Rosina's house and my sister and I will follow. Are we gonna just pretend? And I'm letting the pet the pet do it, but really it's just gonna be me because I'm lazy and I don't feel like going into pet mode. And it's <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that. And it's not necessary. <laughs> okay, good, I'm recording. I was afraid for a minute that I wasn't recording. Oh yeah, I might have forgotten the uh, if I forgot just in case I forgot the greeting, because I don't remember. Because I got bad memory. Uh, welcome to part 10 of the Caramel Walkthrough. Hope you're enjoying this so far. Hey guys, want some green ground stuff? What is all this? I do not know. They look like plants, but there is no sugar dust. No whiff of the peppermint. They are just green or red. They are called vegetables, my friend, and their presence on caramel can only mean one thing. We are all in serious danger. Malverth, how did you find this place? <laughs> Easy, Fräulein. I spied it. Fun fact, vegetables do not exist. I will not be elaborating. We must stop bumping into each other this way. <laughs> ah, but this time, I was not following you. I was following George Veg. He is the last of our suspects for the attack on the old one. And a fitting candidate, too, as he has the power to... <laughs> oh! 
roads to pull people beneath the earth. He most likely dragged your friends inside the house. He waits for you there. This time it is a trip. Shatterhorn Matterhorn. Bring me back the ladder horn. distributing foodstuffs with limited nutritional value. Also, you will probably attack the Oracle. How do you plea? Plea rejected. Proceed to each of the trial rooms for your sentencing and execution. The witness will answer the question. I, I do not know what is happening. Yes or no, it's a simple question. I am unsure. Ask them yourself. Ah, there's the defendant now. Anything to say before I pass sentence? They thought not. Just bring you over here. Bring you over here. Bring you over here. There we go. again that was the issue the sound effects are still a little bit too loud and my phone is almost dead Great. I can heal in the next fight. You can hear that dog out in the back background. That's some dog down the street. I don't know why they're always barking, but they always are. There's some more now. I will never not love that animation. Oh, I see, I was an idiot with my healing blade, too. I gave it to my storm wizard like a dummy. Oh, 
I find you in contempt of corn. Get me out of here! You know what, actually? <gasps> yeah, I'm getting... Okay, I'm getting rid of the extra reshuffles. One, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, now I'll... Do you deal with this sort of lunacy often, Wizard? Because I do not. But we have to find Greta. We were separated when the vine scenes pulled us into the ground. Which, lunacy, right? Quite lunacy indeed, my little mole friend. Mon Mon you, Lord Mole. You are accused of promoting sweets, which in turn promote poor health, obesity, and leaving chocolate stains on new white couches. How do you plead? You will be the one pleading when I get out of here. If you provide evidence on your accomplice, we will be willing to show leniency. Good for you, because my accomplice won't. Will you visit? You're right. I will not show leniency. I'm going to beat you into the ground and hold you there until you stop moving. And then I will continue beating you into the ground. And I will never stop. I will not stop until there is absolutely nothing left of you to beat. You get no leniency. You come into my house? You attack my people? You expect leniency? No siree, buckaroo. When you ask for these hands, you get them. All of them. That should lower the amount of deck fails that I get now. Now that I got less spells I gotta worry about, I should probably take out one of the uh, one of the uh, healing bubble things. Case closed, bring out the dancing penguins. Dancing penguins, everybody. I can turn up the sound a little bit. You survived. Oh no.
Here goes everything. I like how this spell now has a 95% chance to give you a blade, pretty much, as long as you have a high crit, which, as a storm, you should have high crit, which basically means that this spell is better than Rasalka's Wrath, which only has a 30% chance of giving you a blade. Greta, Vizard, we must get her out of that cage. I'm gonna move with the Fire Wizard this time, to, so that you can actually see when the when the cutscene happens. I need to punch someone. Too bad they all run away. Perhaps we should do the same, yeah? Let's visit find Rosina. This is why I like Greta. Yes, fine. Come along, Hans. We will wait outside. Visit, find that cabal maniac and end this. Everything wrong with society. The spiral needs to become like uncooked vegetables. Hard, healthy, land. That's what the first world was. No towering apex of divine civilization. It was just life without the culture and flavor created by the spiral worlds. First world was cauliflower. Flat, tasteless pebulum. In a word, it was wholesome. And this place is a disease. A disease you're no doubt trying to save, which is why you're guilty, wizard. And the sentence for being guilty, death. This is a repurposed model of one of the, this almost feels like a repurposed model from no, actually, no, never mind. It's a little bit different. It's different enough from one of the drain houses. Might be different because I've only ever done the first dungeon of the drains because I have no desire to go any further. Because I, I have PTSD from the test run with the Gregor bosses. Of course, everyone gets in. Yeah, I'm just going to do that just to... Attacked. <laughs> Who am I gonna? Who is gonna get polymorph this time? Oh boy, rat spin. I just realized there's no animation for it when it's coming down the tree. I like how it just completely ignores the person that's not in the battle yet, even though it clearly hits them. I put an enchant on this, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I put an enchant on it. I don't think I would have cast it if I didn't put an enchant on it. If you like more carrots, you can see this yep, that's what I expected. I might be able to actually finish this up pretty quick if I'm if I'm lucky.
Of course they have healing. This is gonna hurt. Lamasu. Oh no, it's Sacred Charge. I still never got the point of having that drop from Aphrodite. You know, considering that I'm a... Uh, considering that boss is in Darkmoor, where you get the exact same spell also. Wow, they just love healing. I'm gonna have to destroy that next round. And they're back at full health, of course they are. Okay, good, they're dead. Oh boy, is it another healing? Nope, it's an absorb. Oh, what's this one? Oh boy, lightning bats. Lovely. Taste the fire. How is she, how, what, how much health does that guy have? Not enough, because they're dead now. Man, I'm so glad I don't have to solo this. <laughs> this would have been a pain to solo with the Judge of Edges, um... That would have been a pain to solo. Did I level up? with the old one on everything. But he was a vegan, you know? So I gave him a pass. As for the cavities themselves, I told you. This world is diseased. Even you can't save it. I do hate to be a bother, but would you be so kind as to let me out, kiddo? Thanks. Holy sh... I'm... I just so happen to have the right gear to give me exactly 9,000 health on my Ice Wizard. Look, look, oh my god. This is... I had no idea I actually PvP'd on this wizard. Exactly 9,000 HP. Holy crap, that's awesome. I mean, it's not as good as 10k, but it'll do. that's been making waves all over the spiral. Alfoy? No, I don't know what that is. I'm a goblin, though I suffer from a variety of allergies to sugar, gluten, peanuts, dairy, soy, shellfish, and wood. I suspect this is related to my rather distinctive features. At any rate, what say we prove that unpleasant fellow wrong and save caramel, eh? Let's just try not to spend too much time outside in the forest. Allergies and all that. Very uncomfortable. Oh, I'd imagine so. Looks like my Storm Wizard has the least amount of experience. 
experience points to all of us. By just a little bit. Which I'm gonna do the fire wizard first, because they've got the sound, and they're also the main video. Wizard, your friend scurried off again. Honestly, we just blinked and he was gone. Yeah. What in the name of Nana happened here? I can't have this stuff around me. I'm allergic to citrus and chlorophyll. <laughs> oh, and look, you found some gobblers. How about that? What were they doing here? You gonna let me in? Unlock the door, dude. Now, door stuck. To make sour gummies. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever said. Do you know how to counteract the anti joys so we can purify the tainted gummies? Will fairy dust do it? Not by itself, kiddo. That would just pile sweetness on top of the sour. We need something to break down the anti joys themselves. Fortunately, I think these gobbler fellas can help us with. Uh, hang on, hang on, uh, uh, that. Wait, I know you. You're the witch what banished our king. Run, everybody, run from the witch. Oh, this again. They must be trying to hustle back to Gobbleton. I left a boat by the Soda Lake. We gotta get there before they do. The gobblers are gone, and there is no boat. I guess they stole it to get back home. So, now what do we do? We must go to Gobbleton, find out how Nana is getting its people to her factories, and disrupt her supply line of antijoys. Hans, Greta, return to the treehouse and tell everyone where we're going. Wizard, I hope you can breathe underwater. Looks like this is where we part ways, Wizard. Good luck. Man, we're missing out on the best person. Oh wait, no, I got a soul of this part. So you can Okay, I guess we don't. How are you doing that? Something, There's just no something Celestia, huh? Makes as much sense as the rest of this. Here comes Celestia's music. Yay! Now watch out for those jellyfish. Man, it feels good to be hearing Celestia battle music again. Looks like it is still possible to have a deck fail. Oh, excuse me.
back up. I will be right back, actually. I, got, I think uh, Aaron's calling. I'll be... Someone just called for an Aaron. I will be right back. Small details like maintenance and not eating the street tend to escape us. I'd hope to change that to encourage them to do things, anything. It's the witch, the one who scared King Gobblestone away. Get her! But then there was that. I'm afraid I require your services as bodyguard, kiddo. Hopefully you can convince them not to resort to cannibalism.
need the witch, but tell her she better not wish away our new king. And bring us some food, please. But Nana supplies all the food to Gobleton. No wonder they're so hangry. It's those antijoys. They'll get you every time. I have a theory that gobbler physique and attitude are influenced by the food that we eat, more so than other races. Hence my unique appearance. why I think gobblers can be the solution to the antijoys. We just need to feed them the right thing. Alas, they are set in their ways. I asked King Gobblestone, a portly fellow, even by gobbler standards, to see what happened if he exercised and ate fewer than 30 meals a day. This upset him greatly. He began ranting about witches, then waddled off to some other world. In response, the citizenry ran me out of town. Since I'm persona non grata here, can you ask some of the gobblers about the missing food rations and if they've noticed any absent brethren? Capital! I'll do some sleuthing from the shadows and meet you on the other side of the island. Good luck! Gobbler swerking in factories? Yep, I heard about that. Not me, though. No siree, Bob. That's against the gobbler code. Eat, rest, play, sleep. And uh, sometimes uh, sleep eat. There's still a debate about that last one. Point is, gobblers don't work or conversate. Hint, hint, eh? Hint. working in factories? Why would you say such a horrible thing? My blood sugar's too low for this kind of talk. I gotta lie down. The food ration drive from the end have stopped? Everybody panic! <laughs> Oh, so sleepy. Nap now, panic later. Night, night. What's this about sweating anti joys? Is that for when I feel like a nut or when I don't? Oh, anti joys. Yeah, yeah, that sounds exhausting. And our food drops, yeah, they get taken away whenever Nana needs another professional taste tester for her factory. Been happening a lot lately. King Gobsmack says the testers just sit and eat all day, then give Nana their expert opinions. Well, I do it, but it sounds <clears throat> exhausting. Well, what's the not-so-skinny, kiddo? Learn anything useful? So Nana and co. are extorting the gobblers for expert taste-testing labor? How grandmotherly. And the new King Gobsmack is in on it? Well then, we must have words with King Gobsmack. You go distract the castle guards by the side door whilst I sneak in elsewhere. Meet me inside. Buddy. I mean, ha, in the name of the king. Oh, that sounded so authoritative, buddy. I'm like literally shaking over here. <laughs> Nicely done. Thanks, buddy. We're pretty awesome guards, aren't we, buddy? So awesome, buddy. Oh, and you can go on in a little, bud. Just know that we're like pretty sure we saw a gross witch sneaking around. Way to be informative, buddy. Let's totally go the opposite way and hunt down that witch, buddy. Oh, and made us something to eat.
I've got good news and bad news. <laughs> we totally knew you were trying to distract us while your witch friend snuck into the castle. <laughs> and, and we know which witch that witch is. <laughs> and we caught you both. And we brought backup buddies. We're like the best guards ever, aren't we, buddy? Oh, the faster you fight them, the faster they stop talking. I am so sorry about that, folks. I just realized now that my microphone was off. I'm an idiot. That's just great. 17 minutes of talking before realizing. Anyways, uh, so this is a continuation probably of the last one. for the life wizard the life guy's still alive oh no fair you cheated are you okay buddy i think so thanks for asking buddy we totally would have won that fight if we'd been properly fueled good point buddy you come back after we've eaten and we'll put the hurt on you yeah until then 
Uh, I guess you can, like, go talk to the king. Just don't run this one off with your crazy witch talk, okay? Ooh, sick burn, buddy. Come on, let's go find clouds that look like stuff. Let's hope those two aren't indicative of the new king's sensibilities. This way. I knew I should have packed prisms. Ah, uh, they're still fighting. Can I teleport? But they're busy. I'm so sorry about missing. I'm making you guys miss out on all of that um, talk out of all the dialogue that I've just had with myself, Good apparently. Good gravy! Your majesty clearly hasn't missed too many meals, I guess. Good gravy! Your majesty clearly hasn't missed too many meals. I guess Gobblestone was the snack size king. His voraciousness, King Gobsmack, demands to know the reason for this intrusion. He also inquires about this gravy you spoke of. We demand to know why gobblers are being offered up like chattel to be sweated in Nana's factories. The tributes serve a higher purpose. They will continue, so the food drops continue. You won't drive away Gobsmack as you did his cousin. Gobblestone wasn't driven away. He rolled away after I suggested he try jumping jacks. You see, exercise produces splendorphins, which... Hmm. Oh, yeah. No need to translate that, Quirtle. We get the gist. Come on, kiddo. Let's get out of here. I think I have an idea. Did they use triage? Okay, no, they just just ran out of damage. Jesus Christ, I really should have brought a prism for this. I'm an idiot. Gobsmack may be worse than Gobblestone, but that worthless conversation made me realize something else. Gobblers are the problem. But we can also be the cure. When we exercise, our bodies produce sweet splendorphins. They can negate the antijoys. At least that's my theory. We'll need to test it. I've created a makeshift lab in an old building that these gobblers wouldn't dare trespass in. The gym. Let's go. And now we get to wait for a few minutes while my ice and f life finish up this battle because I f I'm an idiot. And I forgot to pack spears or prisms, and these guys have like 80% resist. On the plus side, my ice at least has a pet that will... That casts an, an ice shield every other time I get hit. Even though it does eat up more time in the actual game, but... They have 17% pierce. How much, how much resist does my ice have? That was a close one, I almost... 35. Yeah, so it looks like my life is finally done, thanks to Wings of Fate. Going for the deer as the finisher for it. I'm sorry you can't see this, but it takes too long to shift off the other spells. Yeah, that's exactly... Yep, there goes another shield. Isis. Life is finally done. Oh, yeah, I gotta quickly switch back to healing. Because... And ice is also done. Huzzah. They took down nearly 8,000 HP points because I can't 
do any damage. And now it's off to the gym, finally. Well, that's odd. The door won't open. <sighs> the old lock probably rusted shut or something. We'll have to go round the long way. Follow me! We could. We could do that. I am a wizard, though. I could blast the door down. No, we, we're gonna go with the, uh, we're gonna go with the go around. Yep. Go away! No one may enter the witch's abode. Why not? After she left, nasty bogeyman appeared. Terrible monsters of slime and ink. So we locked them in the place no one ever goes. I see. And what if I told you that I was the witch in question? Oh, well, I guess I would arrest you. But the jail's all the way over there, and I'm pretty comfortable, so uh, help yourself. I am still so sorry for the for the 17 minutes of silence. But yeah, so this is either going to be a continuation of the first video. Oh boy, Fail Pip's my favorite.
probably only going to be a half an hour video because I'm going to just slap it onto the end of the other one. Excuse me. bodily substances are expelled, say via sneezing, the sugar rush energy in those substances persists and, uh, yeah, let's just go. Myth and ice oh, and life, of course. of course. More of the disgustingness. Boogie boogie. Boogie boogie. Ew. I know that was Icky Vicky.
I hate you. Really? Suck on that. And this is why these videos are not made for kids, despite being... I keep the swearing to a minimum, but when there's earthquakes and feebles and other such stuff, stuff things, I get angry. And while I do keep everything to a minimum, I will have some things, like, slip out sometimes. Help me if there's an even bigger mucus monster in the next room. Congratulations. You just jinxed it. Yep. And there it is. An even bigger one. A full-on boogeyman, no less. I swear you can't write something this repugnant. Of course, it didn't let me get my life wizard in in time. <sighs> On the plus side, no myths or storms.
it's so much better to do all this with a quad box than it was solo. I love soloing, don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore it, but it just feels so much better to be able to completely stomp anything with just a completely and totally well-organized team of people that you're all controlling like God. time for you to feel the chill grip of death even though this is ice not death but you get the point Come on, unicorn. Joys themselves. I'll need you to go get some from the hangry gobblers. Just get them worked up and collect the sweat. Battling ought to do it. Meanwhile, I'll run on one of these old treadmills to make splendorphins. When you have the anti-joy filled sweat, come back through that other entrance. Shouldn't be any of those nasty little nose nuggets that way. Okay, done with this one. Thank you all for watching. This has been part two of my Wizard 101 walkthrough. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next one. This has been Amber Light. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. Peace out.